You ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Hi, this is Ronnie from Greenlight Bites, and I'm popping in today to yet again cook with my nine year old. Yay! <laughs> crazy nine year old. My crazy! So, what we're gonna make today, are you ready to tell them? Um, do I have to? <laughs> do you like seared tuna? <laughs> yes, I love them. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make a little glaze out of this stuff. Uh, I'll talk about that later. Uh, we're gonna. Later? We're gonna talk about, or we're gonna make some rice, but we're gonna mix it with some quinoa just to kind of spread it and to kind of have like another fun side dish. And then we're gonna roast some, um, what are we roasting? Broccoli. Our favorite vegetable, broccoli. So the first thing we're gonna do is the broccoli and we're, we're using just frozen. It's really simple, it's a favorite of ours. We're just gonna spray a cookie sheet with some nonstick cooking spray. Go a little further away, there you go. We just I don't like want it to one. stick, right? So open this up. Yeah. Uh, how else are you gonna you cook the broccoli? Reach it. Well, you got it. I think you, you can handle this. Uh, my hand does Pull it open. All right, grab some handfuls and put it on the cookie sheet. Oh, nine year olds. This literally could be a 10 minute dinner and you're gonna drag it out to be five minutes. Frozen broccoli. Cold. Yeah, yum. Cold. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna sprinkle a little salt on here. Just a little salt, sprinkle on. And then we've already ro uh, preheated our oven to 425, so we're just gonna pop those in, right? You're really eating frozen broccoli. <laughs> Please don't <laughs> Please don't <laughs> That would be a mess. It's, it's the, the pan's a little... <laughs> well, it's too big, you won't be able to close the... What is happening? You gotta twist it all the way around. Oh my gosh. There. Okay, close it up. We're gonna just start the rice. Now we're using these instant uh, 90 second jammers, but we're gonna just make them because they stay hot forever. And again, we're using a instant quinoa and a, and a well, I shouldn't say instant, a pre-cooked quinoa and a pre-cooked um, rice. And then we're gonna move on to the tuna. So, tuna, hey Ryan, tuna, tuna. put this in the microwave. Wait, wait, it's gonna explode if you don't slit it. How do they blow up in there? If you don't put a hole in it, the steam will the steam will build up and then pop, we'll have a really big mess on our hands. Like kaplooey. Yeah. It'll go completely. Oh Blue. my gosh. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a little kind of sauce to serve with our seared tuna, which we're gonna do last. First, put a little bit of soy sauce in that bowl. Soy sauce. Uh, we're gonna do, I don't know, about two to three tablespoons. Okay, that's good. Now, we're gonna squirt some honey in there. Uh, uh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do it? It's all stuck. I have it upside down because it's almost out. Let's see if I get. Oh, look at that one finger. Oh my god! <laughs> you go to the gym every morning. I do go to the gym every morning. Okay, we're gonna do about two tablespoons. So keep going. Maybe a little less than two tablespoons. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Don't seize it like crazy. That's good. You're gonna do a very small amount of sesame oil because that's very strong. So you can't like a teaspoon, like a little, little teeny dash. Boop. Like a little. Mommy, should I do a little Do one, two, do like three, four, five. One more. That's good, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna zest. Ah, uh, my mama makes pancakes. What? I use that a lot. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Now move and go to a different spot and try to get a little bit more uh, zest. Ah, this is slippery. So we're gonna do this for all three of them. Uh, I think he's actually better at it than I am. His looks really good. Right, now we are gonna cut our clementines in half and squeeze out all the juice and add it to our sauce. Ready, you got this? I'm trusting you. Go. Yeah, you go. salt in it to get started, and then, and then oh, right. that looks good. <laughs> He's my fruit kid. He loves every fruit. It's awesome. Watch those fingers. I have small fingers. You know, I just want you to be careful. Good job. Our knives aren't the best either. Now we're gonna take our halves, and we're literally just gonna squeeze it in. Squeeze! Squeeze! squeeze. It's squeeze. Fine. Don't do it all. Uh, oh, he's double. He's double fisting. He's uh, uh, getting all savvy on me now. All right, we're just whisking in that juice. You want to try it? No, I don't want. Ew. Oh, it's, it's good. It's kind of good, but not good by itself. Good it, flashback. Yeah, right. Okay, wait. Where are you going? It's time to sear these tunas. No, not yet. Okay, we have moved over to the stove. Now we're heating up this pan. We want it nice and hot. 
Um, so while we're waiting for that, we have our, our little sauce that we made. And we also have some avocado oil that I'm going to spray in the pan. Oh, ow. Oh. My but, hiccups. Oh. What? You still hiccuping? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to salt these babies. Sure. Don't go crazy on the salt, but you do want to get a nice... Wee. want to get a little bit on all of them. I like to use my grill pan because I like the grill marks, but you don't have to. You can just use whatever skillet that you want. So Ryan, when you put these in, we want to put the salt side down. You got that? And these only take literally a minute aside. You ready for this? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, that's what we want to hear. Okay, so they're searing away. We're going to now salt the other side. Let me show you what's happening. Now, see how it's cooking up the side? Yeah. We really only want to cook these about a quarter of the way when that white stuff comes a quarter of the way up and then we're going to flip them. That one looks good. Yeah, that one is pretty much approaching good. It oh my gosh, please help me. <laughs> oh no, that's... Yeah. Um, okay. Flip it. Nice! Zen. Trying to be zen. Open these up and pour them in the bowl where we made the glaze and it'll they'll just absorb a slight amount of flavor break, break them. maybe you should take the big glove off <laughs> that might help why are you up on the stool you look like a giant it smells nice i know it's nice it's a great simple side dish it doesn't require a lot of thought or energy you might want to hold the bowl when you spin <laughs> <laughs> the bowl will pop. we gotta get this broccoli out before it burns because searing with a nine-year-old took a lot longer than i anticipated use two hands here Perfect. You're getting you're getting already more confident pulling things out of the oven. That sauce that's in the pan, we're gonna just simply drizzle that over. Now you could slice your tuna steaks, and then um, you know drizzle it all of the thing. Yeah, we could put a little bit in the rice. Great idea, just to flavor everything together. Here is the finished product. We remember this My time. Yes. How is it? Good. I heard this piece is already kind of cut out. Is it good? There's some pig inside and it's good. Awesome! Thumbs up! Seer tuna lesson success. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, you can see the inside? Oh, it's actually even a little too done for me, I'd say, but you're on the edge. Oh, no, you like it like that? It's perfect. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. For more light ideas, check out greenlightbites.com. And um, we'll be back in a few weeks with another Cooking with My Nine Year Old video. If I survive. <laughs> <laughs> What's up?